Last year we saw you had the uh, the record, I think, was your one deal. So what's the story with your, your bikes for this year? Oh, yeah. So uh, when I went into Cannondale in Connecticut um, to talk about the new bike designs and... Um, you know, initially we went in with the kind of singular idea of like, okay, we're going to have one bike design, just like last year. Mm -hmm. You know, just normal. We're going to have one design. Yeah. And um, they put up the the current design, and we're like, well, and here's a variant on the color. You know, if we if we swap the colors, you know, it looks like this. If the blue's here instead of the white, whatever. And uh, we kind of put that up on the wall. And I liked the design. And then I was like, well... What if we what if we flopped the colors again and tried you know tried this one and so then we put that one up and then we had one like kind of in the trash bin, and we were talking about it and we're like well, I don't know I like this color yeah but this you know this one's good, <laughs> and then I put the other one up on the wall and it was like oh wait what if <laughs> <laughs> here I am <laughs> what if we were able to do three different you know colorways of yep. the same bike mm -hmm. and that would be six bikes two of each color. So you have two pairs of three, you know, yeah. um, three triplets. And uh, with an idea with some social media around it and some videoing and, you know, just like the things you can do with three different colors in all these different areas and stuff, you know, I think it's a really, mm -hmm. it's a good way to kind of keep it interesting in that. And um, they're like, well, we're going to custom paint them anyways. So like, what, yeah, well, why not? Sure, we can do that. So it worked out really well. And um and with that, with the three different colors, we were able to do um, a couple of different emblems as well. I think one of the fun things they, they wanted to add last year was that like Easter egg, that small emblem with the, you know, with with the record on there. And I thought it was a really good idea to like, okay, here's you know my, my pitch was we could put my you know national championship under the, there as a track, and mm -hmm. if I get a second one or a third or whatever, then we can always add a track. Yeah. So you always have the same emblem, but adding tracks to it. Just oh, like that makes you sense. Would. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and so, luckily it worked out. Jersey belongs to Stephen Hahn! And we were able to add that again with the second track. So it's the same emblem with just, you know, 2017, 2018. Mm -hmm. And, um, so then it was like, well, if we're going to do two other different colored bikes, well, you know, what could we do different, you know? Um, so the other one was um, the Dig, you know, hands over the sprocket. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Dig, Dig BMX is a um, magazine out of Scotland. It's been around for a long time, and um, it was a really big inspiration to me. Like seeing BMX is still a very big part of my life. Mm -hmm. Like might not do it every day, but it really like shaped who I am as a cyclist and as a person, and it's still a very very big portion of like my life. And um, it's always it's a tattoo of my calf. Um, and, uh, you know, I still look up to a lot of those writers that were in the magazines in, the ones that are in there now, what they do as a publication. I think it's really cool. And just the, the culture around it. Mm -hmm. And um, so I was like, yeah, I, want, I want that to be part of this. Um, so we were able to do that. And they added in the, you know, the Stars and Stripes and the Continental flag on there as well. So there's there's two of each, right? So yep. so two national championships, two Continental championships. Each one has yep. their own. You were not a, you were not a one hit wonder, uh, right? <laughs> you had a yeah. good follow up album. Yeah, yeah, I think totally. you established that. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, and then added some, uh, you know, like the Cannondale sprocket, like the classic Cannondale one piece sprocket. So mm -hmm. it, was, it was really cool. It was able to like kind of piece all those worlds together and throw that on there. Uh, and then we have the third one. And it was just like wild card, you know, what do we want to do? And so forever my like spirit animal has been like the trash band, the, the raccoon, you know? And so like, <laughs> I was like, well, what if we had just like this Ranger Rick-esque like <laughs> raccoon with this like American flag? And um, and he was like, Ryan Chung in Canada was like, yeah, okay, cool, I'll do it. <laughs> so, like, maybe no matter like, what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. They want to have like fun with it. They want to do... Um, yeah, they want to make it personal, they want to make it fun, they want to, like, you get one time to do this, right? So it might as well, like, make it what you want it to be. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm really happy with how they turned out, and um, it's it's been a really interesting um, kind of launch with them, too, and I mm -hmm. think people have responded to them really, really well, and I can't wait to actually, like, get them, you know, all in rotation on the courses. So far, I think two colors. We've, we've flown two colors. You did, too? Did <laughs> yeah. you, I mean, it was a pretty dry course. Did you run a separate bike each day, or were yeah, you exactly. hitting? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Oh, okay. So I ran one bike one day. I think we started with the red one. 
Yeah. <clears throat> the red top. Mm -hmm. And then um, the white one the next day. So we, I think we'll probably start with the blue one tomorrow. Um, just get them all in rotation. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Who did the artwork for the raccoon? Uh, so that was Ryan Chung. That did oh, it. he did it. Okay. Yep. Cool. Yep. Yeah. So it was pretty, pretty cool. I was just like, you know, make it kind of wild. <laughs> not, maybe not like rabies wild, but like, yeah. <laughs> <almost>. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty close. Yeah. So yeah. like now, I mean, this is your second year with mm -hmm. the, the red, white, and blue bikes. Yep. I mean, do you feel extra pressure riding? I mean, like literally everyone, you stand out, like everyone's gunning right. for you and your kit yeah. and your bikes. No, I don't feel any extra pressure. I mean, yeah. honestly, like it's, uh, it feels really good. And it feels like it's like, uh. Um, I don't know, it's just like a kind of a good cross to bear, right? It's like, it's you have this, not necessarily responsibility, but like, yeah, you're proud of it. And it makes me every day kind of check in with myself and go like, hey, remember how hard it was to get that? Like, <laughs> you've got to work harder now to keep it and to do better, right? Mm -hmm. Like, now that's the minimum you want. Um, and it's, it's, it's helped me really stay focused on that stuff because now I'm like, okay, well, I know what it took to get those two yeah and um and it wasn't easy but it was doable and now i think i can even do more right so it's it's not necessarily it doesn't scare me it doesn't make me nervous it gives me a little bit of pride and it gives me like something to really work for i'm, I'm cool with that okay <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so well uh, uh congrats on getting engaged yeah. thank you um, by the way thank you. that was really cool to see that but yeah. uh, i was talking to carrie and yeah. he said that he feels like he has a little extra power now that he's married do you oh, think yeah. that's a do you think that's a thing <laughs> Yeah, for sure. I mean, like, you know, we're, uh, you know, we're trying to plan out our, our, our wedding, uh, whatever that may end up looking like, um, now. And, um, it's pretty cool. I mean, I bought a house, I got a dog, you know, we bought a house, we got a dog. And so it's just like, you, you share all these things yeah. and it, it, it's interesting before, you know, it was just me living by myself all the time and, um, everything was for me and, and I'm not necessarily very good at like, I like to say I'm very good at compromise, just not compromising on my cycle. <laughs> so like, it's actually driven me to, to, you know, whether she knows it or not, <laughs> like give up a few things and, and really focus on like uh, some more balance. Yeah. And um, that balance I think has transitioned into other parts of my life too. Like it's not necessarily just balancing the cycling and having that relationship that you really don't want to mess up. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> um, and, uh, you know, in, in the kind of like, uh, in the micro has, you know, that same relationship I see in, in different things in my life too. So it's, it's pretty, I'm, I'm into it. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's awesome yeah. to hear. Uh, I mean, so since we got you for a few minutes, I think before dinner, yeah, yeah, totally. yeah we do. Yeah. I uh, was curious. I mean, last year you were sick. At yeah. the beginning of the season, yeah. uh, World Cups didn't go how you like. Uh, sure as heck, looked like you were on pretty good form in Rochester. Are you a little yeah. bit more excited for, for this year's races? Totally. Um, you know, I trained up in through Rochester. Um, it was the first year I've ever been able to take the win both days leading into the season, which was really exciting for me. Yeah. Um, it, I was able to do a lot of really good work um, mm -hmm. early, like, and uh, put in a really good base block put in really, really good um, good training leading into that and then after that. So I feel really good right now, very confident. Um, and more or less I'm, I'm on a mission to like, to get those results. Like I, I really, I want them. And last year was disappointing and I feel like I kind of need to make that up for myself. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm shooting for pretty lofty goals and yeah, it might happen, might not. That's okay. I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm here to try. Well, so like yeah. uh, one reason that I think, uh, for from my perspective, that you've been interesting sure. is like you're facing this condensed time clock that you've talked about. You know, sure. just coming to the sport late, but you've also you showed you had really good results at Nemur and sure. Zolder. Yeah. Uh, I mean, is do you feel that you're moving in the right direction towards? getting those on the, um, yeah. it seems like you want to get those at the European stage. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's, that's kind of how I've, I've moved my focus over the last two years. I mean, not that I, I'm not training and, and wanting to win races in the U S I think that's like, it's important still to me, mm -hmm. but the way I've kind of set my goals is like, they're loftier and they're like, they're, they're European based, they're world cup based. They're all these things that are like, they're just so out of reach that they, they're desirable and they make me drive and they are, um, 
there's something that makes me work harder and harder and harder. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, I mean, that's, I, I don't, I don't know how much longer I can race. Like, obviously I'm still on the up a little bit and I'm totally cool with that. And as long as I'm on the up, I'm fine. And I can, I can, you know, I can work with that. And even when, when I plateau, if it's this year, that's totally fine. I, I love my job and I love doing it. And, um, freaking lucky to be able to <laughs> so I'll maintain that as long as I possibly can but I'm totally like yeah I couldn't be more driven right now to like get better and better as long as I can yeah yeah well and I mean from watching you uh, it seems like that's the case so yeah. Uh, but then, like, approaching a weekend like this, like, you seem pretty relaxed. And yeah. are you facing pressure? I feel like I would be putting pressure on myself or... I put pressure on myself every day. Oh, you do? <laughs> like, it's, oh. not, you know, it's, it's, it's no different today than, uh, you know, than going into Rochester or something like that. Um, yeah. You know, there's... I guess there's, like... you. I do the training. I have the goals. I train for them. Uh, and I show up on the day, you know, ready. And that, that's all I can do, right? Like, I don't look at the start list. I don't look at the weather. I show up <laughs> yeah. to, to race. And um, it's not, like, uh, based on who's there. Uh, it's it's just it's based on the racing. So for me, I my goals go beyond, like, being a certain person or having extra people there. Um, it doesn't necessarily scare me. It, it pushes me harder. So I'm, I'm excited to actually have more guys that will push me in the direction that I want to go in, that are going to teach me things, you know, by allowing me the opportunity to either, like, beat them or fail. Either one, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, Spencer is sitting over here, and I think he's going to be one of them. It seems like even domestically. Totally. Like, I mean, Carrie's on phenomenal form right now. Absolutely. Looks like Jay Paz is back. Yeah. So that's got to be exciting for you, huh, at the yeah. domestic level, to yeah. have a lot of really strong dudes who are going to be pushing you. Totally. And, you know, and at Rochester, I think we were riding on that second day, and normally, like, the C2s are a little bit more subdued. We're all just kind of like, we've got the C1 out of the way, and, you know, we're tired. But I think on that day, it was just an agreement of, like, hey, we all need to ride really, really hard because we're not going to get an opportunity to do this again. Like, this is, it's big boy practice time. <laughs> That's what Kerry said. He yeah. was like, yeah, you know, he was like, yeah, I think it was normally more political, but Steven just showed up and wanted to smash things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I showed up and I was like, I'm not, I'm either going to die out here or I'm going to win the race. <laughs> but I'm not going to stop. <laughs> So, yeah, we got to do that. Like, it's not, you know, we're not doing ourselves any favors by playing cat and mouse and sitting up and do all this stuff. You know, last year, like, those races came down to sprints because we didn't race them hard enough. Mm -hmm. So then we get to the World Cups and we're like, whoa, man, these are so fast. Why, are, why aren't we doing this fast? Well, because yeah. we're not. Yeah. So, uh, you know, one thing you got to remember is that in the World Cups, it's like, it's, uh, you know, it's 50 guys that are exactly, if not better, you know, as you, so it's, it's, and everyone wants to, like, beat you, it's not, no one's gonna, like, oh, man, that, that's great that I got so close to whoever, yeah. you know, it's yeah, like, they don't care who I am, they, yeah. <laughs> they want to be a spot in front of me no matter what, so, um, yeah, that's, it's just gonna drive us, me. Okay. Yeah. Well, and it, uh, it, you know, we've talked about, it, like, it seems like you and Carrie are developing a friendship and, mm -hmm. you know, you've got friends and stuff. Do you think that there's, and obviously you and Jeremy, sure. uh, even without the cup this year, do you think there's still going to be that level of urgency and desire to, in a friendly way, kind of rip <laughs> each other's legs off? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it's like all last year I had a big target on my back and this year even more so. And like that, like, that's great. Because that just pushes me. Because I know those guys now. Like I know what that's like. Mm -hmm. I remember having the target on Jeremy, and Come just being on, like, "Okay, what do I gotta do?" And I do it. <laughs> like, just tell me what I gotta do, and I'll do it. <laughs> if you're like, hey, light yourself on fire. It'll be faster. I just would have done it, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> and so I just I see it now, and I'm like, okay, you know, last year Tobin was going for it, yep. and you know he's got to find his his way this year, and this year Carrie's kind of in that that department, and. Um, he's certainly a very versatile rider, and you know we got a lot of young kids too. Um, you know, whenever this, whenever Spencer's not falling down, we'll, <laughs> <laughs> he'll, he'll have some good rides. I, I yeah. know he will. So yeah, so it's it's going to be a really good year domestically, um, and yeah, it, it's it's awesome to be able to race these guys and still like 
I don't know, still be friends afterwards. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think that's the most important thing for me. Like, if it's if we're just racing and we're gonna hate each other, then that's not that's not necessarily my scene. I think it makes it more fun to watch. I think from our perspective yeah. too, to know yeah. that you guys are pre riding together, going for rides, and <laughs> yeah. Well, it's interesting because we're still like it's it's still a little bit of a cold war. You oh. know, we're all like. Yeah, we'll pre-ride together, but we're not necessarily going to do, like, the super secret race movie. Oh. Whatever, like, and then, yeah. you know, we're going to be like, oh, yeah, no, totally. I've just been walking this thing. Yeah, you too. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I think my mom's kind of that tree. I'll let you go past, yeah. and I'm going to take this picture. <laughs> yeah, totally. I mean, it goes like that, right? You're just like, yeah, no, I've been... This is exactly how fast I did this... And it went hard, yeah, totally. Yeah. I'm not breathing hard. Uh, no, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, you know Cam, right? Yeah, yeah. Cameron Beard. He, yeah. my best friend growing up, me and him, he, I would take him out for pre-rides, and he was like, will you show me everything? I was like, sure, man. <laughs> and when we were younger, I once told him that I was running 35 PSI. <laughs> I shit you not. He believed me, did it, and then it was back when Tim was still racing, yeah. and he's like, Cam, God, that like, you didn't look good out there. What, what are you running, tire pressure? He's like, 35, that's what Spencer's running. <laughs> and he's like, oh, God. he's not. And he told me after the race that he believed me and did it. And yeah, Cam's now a professional road racer. So that's uh, Yeah. So, you know, that kind of stuff goes on. <laughs> it's, it's funny. It's, you know, we're all, we're all trying to push each other to be better, but in the end, we do still want to win the races on our own. So you have that opportunity to, like, uh, to push each other. But also, like, you still got to figure it out on your own a little bit. And you still have to make your own way. And that adds to, like, the personality of the races. If we all went out and we're just like, this is the line, this is the perfect way to do it, this is the fastest way, then we'd all just do it, and then it would be yeah. the most boring race ever. Yeah. You know, in Rochester, when I was running, everybody wanted to ride that that down of the double trouble thing. And it's, it's rooty, it's super dusty, there's, like, fence posts down, and there's rocks in it. And, like, everyone wants to ride it out of pride because they're just like, well, yeah, I can ride it. Of course I can ride it. I had people send me, like, pictures of, like, women riding down it. Like, that's going to offend me. Like, uh, hey, you ran it. These are women riding down it. It's like, yeah, of course, because they're good bike riders. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I chose to run it. That's different. Um, it, it's just really interesting, the, the pride that goes into that kind of thing. And I was putting gaps in, so it's like... You know, that's not something, like, I didn't run that in pre-ride, you know, I rode it, yeah. just like everyone else, and I kept that under my hat, and I did it, and, you know, we timed it, and I was like, okay, that's fast, cool. So, yeah. um, you know, there's still stuff like that. And he's all day two, everybody else is running it. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that, yeah. I, I didn't get to watch yeah. the live stream, um, yeah. but yeah, I heard that yeah. on day two, it was... That kind of thing happens, that's, that's like super, you know, that's just, that's just how those races go, whether we're friends or not. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so then, uh, b finishing up, I have to ask. You yeah. know, uh, you know, did you did you holler at Wout after he uh, pulled your move with the uh, the broken derailleur hanger <laughs> and Rico Cross? Yeah. Well, you know, there's a lot going on with him right now, and so it was really interesting. It was a little bit heartbreaking to see because you know where you know where their heads at. You know, with all of this stuff going on, dude's had a tough year. Mm -hmm. I mean, teammate dying. Like, he's been building a house. Got married. I was supposed to go on his honeymoon, didn't because it was oh, yeah. his teammate and um, with all his team troubles and stuff like that. It's like, it's tough. And he's a kid. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, yeah, he's got a lot of help, but still, he's 24. Like, he's just out of under 23. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know, you, you feel for the guy. So you know when he's going in and got all this pressure, It's there's a lot more than just the race going on in his head. And to see those two mistakes like that um, is very uncharacteristic of a guy like that. Mm -hmm. who's so well put together and he's so smooth and so uh, uh, strategic in his racing. Um, yeah, poor guy. <laughs> poor guy. <laughs> you can see the disappointment on his face. I mean, yeah. it's, it's got to suck. Well, I was still impressed that he stuck with it, ran to the pit, and totally. still dropped everyone and finished second. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, obviously, he's the strongest guy still. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's... It's, it's pretty impressive what he can do on that. And it shows you that he's still, his ultimate goal is still to win races, right? Mm -hmm. It's not uh, it's not to make the most amount of money. It's not to, you know, have the flashiest whatever. You know, he's not out there on his crazy six cars or whatever. Um, he shows up to win the races because yeah. he likes winning races, and that's important to him. So he's focused. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do you ever find it weird? Uh, I mean, you know, Stephen Hyde, I guess, and like sure. you're friends with Wout Van Aert, <laughs> like friends with some of the biggest names in cycling. Does that yeah. ever give you kind of like a like a reality check or? I think it's pretty funny, especially with like <laughs> you know some of my friends or something like that. We were in Spain uh, in the spring, uh, which is also pretty funny to look back on. <laughs> you know, like, oh, I spent my spring in Spain because it's warmer. Yeah, <laughs> but oh. it's like. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> uh, but then, you know, like, he, him and Sarah came out, and we all hung out and um, showed up at the apartment. And we we're all, like, you know, we're stuffed in this apartment. You know, it's a bunch of Americans, yeah. and we all have, like, you know, there's probably six beds or something like that. So him and Sarah walk in, and uh, some of my friends are eating in the kitchen. And I don't remember if I told any of them that Wild was going to come over, but we were going to go have dinner and you know, have a drink or whatever. And he comes in, and, and my friend was just like, Hey, Steven has some friends over. You guys want to come hang out in the living room and chat? Uh, you probably want to. And they're like, oh, we're doing some work. They're like, you should probably come in here and hang out. Somebody comes in and they're like, oh, hey, let's go. what's up? <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> it's really funny. I enjoy that part of it. Yeah, I really enjoy that part of it. And so my friend Sam, uh, he'll love this. He was in a race uh, with him, and well, got a flat, and went back to the field, and uh, on the way back through, kind of like went underneath him in a corner, and just like you know, kind of moved him out of the way. And Sam was like, "Who the hell is this guy?" And he looks over at the well, and he's just like, "Oh, yeah. you And he like pushed him through, and he goes like, "Okay, all right, don't crash that guy." And so then I was able to like relay that story to him through him and uh, they were just like both talking about it and it's really awkward and really <laughs> funny because Sam was like oh uh, yeah that was me that you almost killed <laughs> and he was just like yeah that's normal <laughs> so it's really that's that's fun <laughs> but you know it's just like everyone's uh you know starstruck or not everyone's all the same they're he's a kid he's got all these like you know, yeah it's crazy yeah and uh it's cool that he's. Uh, I, it's cool that I've been able to make all of these friends through cycling. It's that I never would have otherwise. I never would have left the country. I never would have went to Europe. I never would have spent time like I'm doing and traveling and uh, meet the people that I'm doing and yeah, I went to cyclocross. Do you have a loud impression? I know you carry impressions. <laughs> Probably. I'll save it. Okay. All right. I'm still waiting. I want to cut a video of, yeah. of your impressions of everyone in the, the cyclocross peloton. Have you seen his Kerry Warner yeah. impression? I'll wait till he gets a team. Have, yeah. have you seen mine of yours? No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that he raps? No, yeah, he's very good. Yeah. There, there might be a mixtape coming out for SRAM. Yeah. SRAM. Yeah. We're getting it going. Well, it's not coming out yet, but yeah. it's in the works. They it's approached me, so yeah. Oh. It's going. All right, we'll wait for that. My record yeah. label, yeah. and then my producer, <laughs> and then I got a Beats dude. So yeah, you know, Mike Will made it. Yeah, then it's gonna go through Stu. Yeah, and then she's got okay to make sure I'm bad now. Yeah. <laughs> now, Spencer, are you representing the sponsors correctly yeah. in your in your lyrics? Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, I'll we're good. Be a SRAM line in there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, you guys got to do dinner, so cool. thanks for your time, man. Yeah, really worries. appreciate thanks it. So it's always a pleasure yeah. to chat with it you. Is. It is. Thanks, man. Yeah, appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yeah. Big time.